Green right, Liam Kinsella. Welcome back. Welcome back, Water Fun TV. A more relaxed one today. Colchester away. Um, no Holden. Uh, Hayden White's back in at right back. We're playing 4 4 2 by the looks of it. So uh, let's see how it's going to unfold. I think we've got a minute silence coming in. That would be for uh, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, and all that. We saw the uh, funeral earlier. So uh, we're going to observe that silence. And then we're uh, roaring on to a third win on the bounce, hopefully. Winning without. Uh, Rory Holden that's been a bit of a challenge for us so maybe we can sort that today minute silence started Stephen Come on, Warsaw. Yeah, that minute silence in some ways for all the people that we've lost um, during COVID, as well as uh, Prince Philip, of course. Of course, Colchester are in a desperate, desperate state. Must not lose game for them in some respects. But uh, Warsaw maybe can capitalise on that and uh, get three on the bounce, which would be good. Good to see Jack Rose staying in goal. There's been uh, quite a lot of discussion from our contracts chat saying uh, he's he's better than Liam Roberts. And, um, <laughs> I, suppose, I suppose you're right, really. Um, what we haven't seen Jack Rose do is pull off good saves. He's been quite comfortable holding, handling and that sort of stuff. But when it comes to shot stopping, he hasn't impressed massively. So uh, hopefully he can do that today and uh, prove me wrong. But uh, as long as Walsh are winning, we're all happy. We're about to kick off. Oh, take knee again. Take a knee. I hope that's going to stop for the for next season. It's um. Okay. I appreciate. I appreciated why we had it to start with. But I mean, it's sort of going on a bit much. When you have uh, more more moments of uh, reflection for something that happened to a guy in America compared to um, the death of a monarch, that sort of uh, raises a lot of questions. Anyway, enough of that. Warsaw on the attack. Out to Davy trying to get a cross in. His confidence has got to be up. Crosses in. It's not a great one. Easily cleared. Kinsella heads it up, trying to get back. Come on, Sadlers, says Sean, Kieran. Um, I think we can win. Also got Steve on the case. And uh, Essington Canal enthusiast. 
That's uh, the longest name we have, I think, on here, but I'm sure that'll change now I've said that. Goal kick Warsaw. Oh, he's given away a corner. That was a bit of a daft one, Perry. Oh, Stephen. Yes, I am. We've got uh, 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 a few comments saying Jack Rose is a better keeper. Oh, yes, but it's not. So sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cleared away by Wright. We're going to see lots of uh, Colchester sort of. We're going to see lots of uh, really sort of pumping it into the Warsaw box from Colchester. Of course, they desperately need points. And I think one point perhaps not going to help them. I think for Warsaw, in some respects, I'd be happy with a point. But I mean, really, we want to sort of push home our renewed confidence and get those three points and get us moving up that table. Do you reckon, Stephen? Same thing. Uh, the impact that Glad to have you guys with us again. Uh, joining in the chat, Jamie Fullerton. It's going to be interesting to see whether he can bring some uh, players in. Uh, where's McDonald? Why he keeps putting him on the bench when with no intention of playing him? I don't know. You thought Rouse would come for that, wouldn't you? You think so? <laughs> no, you just prowl, prowl Roberts. Oh. Oh, do you want to put that curt across, Stephen? Sort of reduce the glare a little bit. No. Throwing Colchester, he's trying a long throw, foots out of the line. But, uh, that's better. Let's see, we can see a bit better now, can we? Really what channel is the game on? We've got it on. I follow Kieran. Uh, Keith Shepherd, hi. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, we, we've got I follow. We buy the I follow pass on the laptop and then connect the laptop to the monitor. That was new to the channel. Press the subscribe. Join our journey. The joy and the pain. Join the pain. But we're having a bit more joy finally. Colchester obviously going to be throwing people forward. We're going to have to see whether that gives Warsaw a chance to uh, attack on the break. That was an awful effort. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> Their guy he tried to him. shoot. So Their guy tried to shoot and he sort of sliced it, really. Mm -hmm. Warsaw got to hit him on the break because so obviously they're pushing players up. And a goal for Josh Gordon. Yeah. Again, some disagreement on uh, our contract discussions that we had. Josh Gordon, I understand what people are saying about his his his, uh, his lack of goals, and you're one hundred percent correct. But I mean, there is something about Josh Gordon. I think if if he can sort of break and get a bit of confidence going again, I think he could be a really good player for us. So I love his energy and his work rate. We just need goals. The frustration under Daryl Clark was he was always out on the wing instead of in the box. And last couple of games, he has been getting in the box more, which is, as any striker will tell you, you're only going to score if you get in the box. You ain't going to score from the wing, are you? Oh, yeah, you don't play. Professional level. As always, got the White won another throw. Get the ball into the box towards Leland Lambridge, Josh Gordon, and Maggie Rossadini, who are all inside the 18 yard box at the moment. Trying to get that cross on. Oh, Kinsella conceded a foul there when we're trying to get the ball in the box. It will be a. 
The guy did well then. The guy did well. He got in front of Kinsella and did a did a clock, didn't he? Uh, this week, the barbers, barbers. We've not got barbers yet. Incidentally, next Saturday, I'm not sure who the game was next Saturday. Salford, I think. We're not going to be on live stream next Saturday because Stephen, Stephen's on the Duke of Edinburgh. Uh, Duke of, uh, Duke of Edinburgh award scheme so uh, we need to be taking him that so it's a day out on Saturday so we're not going to have a live stream I know yeah but we go collector as well so we're staying there we're staying in the zone mm -hmm. otherwise by the time we've got back it'll be time to go and get you again want a free kick to have again Free kick and a chance for Colchester to get the ball into the box here, Tom. Yeah, it's actually a little bit disappointing for him to there because Harry doesn't look as though he's going anywhere quickly. You know, he's, he's, he's done the job on him, hasn't he? So that's a, a ball into the box now from uh, midway inside Walsall's half on the left hand side. He's just played into the box. Managed to clear it away. Good to have uh, Lavery back in the team. Lavery he sort of distributes the ball quite well generally, doesn't he? Come on, pass it round. That's Sadler's ball. Knock it across. That's it. Keep it nice and easy, Warsaw. No panic. They're the ones chasing it, not us. Long ball straight through to their keeper from Hayden White. What was I saying about needing a new right back? We're going to watch this game. We don't want it. We don't want to be. Um, Melbourne did well then to win the ball. Oh, Sadibi, that's a bit risky. But he's got the ball through. Right, knocks it on, loses it. We're also going to get a bit more possession. We don't need all attack v defence because that's where it is at the minute. Isn't it? It's all attack v defence. And um, Warsaw played well against some good teams and they were against Colchester. We've got to be careful we don't fall back into that uh, fear factor again. Well, it shouldn't be, should it? It should be a game we're ready to attack. Come on, chase them down. Colchester arms length through here and uh, for both side all in blue are trying to uh, build down this right hand side now with Welsh Hayes towards Newplay. He's got a fight advantage, the striker on uh, Melbourne, but the uh, sort of pressure to get the ball away. Colchester keeping the pressure on with Harriet now, 35 yards from goal. Oh, good effort there. Good. He's done well there. Shot. <laughs> Really off the inside of the box, off the inside of the bar. That was a good effort. That was a good effort, uh, Colchester. There, great skill from there. He's put the guy in. He's unlucky, yeah. Warsaw gonna fall asleep in this game, I think, at the minute. I wouldn't have blamed Rose if he'd have gone in because he was quite exposed. Walsh are going to get at it a bit, haven't they? Sam Perry, been good the last few games. He's not got to touch the ball yet, I don't think. Oh, Hayden White's give the ball away. It's all Colchester. Too close for comfort, Keith. Yeah, you know, kidding. That was good. Rouse come out and claimed. <coughs> yeah, they were uh, fortunate there. Walsall not to go one down in the tenth minute. Let's uh, start uh, 
We've got to start asking them some questions, haven't we? That's a good ball through for Perry, gone through to Gordon on the right hand side. Always right uh, been out the fort, which doesn't happen very often. Give the ball away again, Warsaw. Come on, hi guys. Win, hopefully, says Mark Banks. Oh, that's a foul there. Might get a book in here, Kinsella. I thought Kinsella was in a bit light on him then. He's saying to him, no more of that, really. no more of that, or we get booked. That's his warning. Their goalie looks a bit like a young David James. Just the, just the <laughs> Look in cellar. No one's want much in that, really. I wonder if Colchester were formed by two men called Colin and Chester. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I don't even know whether it's close to Chester or not, really. I think. No, Colchester's Essex, isn't it? It's down in Essex, so uh, no, it's not even near Chester. Uh, Walsall trying to play the way back from the back. No need for that super long ball then. I know we got to break quite quickly, but I mean, at times we got to just get on the ball. Just got to get on the ball. Get to put them under some pressure from chat playing it round a bit. Colchester's Essex. My granddad was from Colchester. Now I'm in mum on my mum's side. Great question. <laughs> Looks like we're playing as if we're at the bottom two. You say that, Keith, but I mean they're obviously Colchester. What's that? Boy, Ipswich. What Colchester? Boy, Ipswich. Yeah. London's here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's near to Essex, though, isn't it? Well, Essex is down there. What county is it? Um, Keith, I think. In fairness, I think Colt, we, we're playing like a team that's on the beach and they're playing like a team who need a win, which uh, is exactly where it is. Is Colchester old, old England's oldest recorded town? Uh, could be. Colchester on the attack again. Ball's gone in. Right, come on. It's... Perry, Perry on the ball. Come on, nice, tidy. Oh, didn't quite get it. Lost it again. Colchester is Essex. Thank you. <laughs> it is Essex, Stephen. You're thinking of Kent, perhaps. Come on, there was a pass to us today. Then come on. Give it him when he wants it. Oh, yeah. And it just says Colchester Essex. Yeah. That's it. Oh, Hayden White. He's rubbish. He is. He's played the ball over to him and he's just poorly controlled it. Poorly controlled it and it's gone out for a throw into Colchester. It almost seems like it's turned. 4-1-4-1 with Sam Perry sitting the deeper of the, uh, the three midfielders of Lee Kinsella uh, <coughs> and Osadibi. Ipswich isn't Kent, it's Suffolk. Yeah, that's right. 
left hand side. Norwich Norfolk, Ipswich Suffolk. Stephen's very good on the uh, capitals of the countries, but maybe uh, he's very good at countries and capitals. But um, perhaps counties in this country is perhaps not so good. We we'll test. I want you half time. We'll have a bit of a test for Stephen, if you like. So it's Tewick, not Tewi then. <laughs> Like a walking man. <laughs> right then, uh, get your comment in there and uh, mention some capital cities and Stephen's going to try and identify where they're from. You think you'd be able to do that? Where's that? They've got the capital city. They name the capital city and you say which country it is. Colchester Harper coming forward down the left hand side now. It's uh, <laughs> easy to Harriet. Ball into the box, it goes cleared away by the uh, Warsaw defence. But uh, Colchester looking Lavery did well then, held it up well. Josh Gordon, come on, there's people around you, boy. There's people around you inside. That's it. Sam Perry's had a couple of touches, but not much yet. He's playing a bit further back than normal. Which uh, is a bit of a strange one. Ozzy's nickname to the globe. <laughs> what is happening here? Why are we just playing like, are we playing like this for? I don't know. Really. Really. Coming together with Ossie 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 oh, Osa looked like he was doing right then. Oh, Walsall having a bit of possession. One of their guys decides he needs a rest. Hayden White should be out first out the door for me. Yeah, as as you probably heard on our contracts review, we definitely uh, would be letting Hayden White go. You quite like him, though, don't you? Yeah, I think he's improved. He's improved. He's improved, but I think he's not looking very good today, is he? Not looking very good today. I, as as I think most Walsall fans agree, we think Cameron Norman is by far, by far a better right back than uh, Hayden White. And as far as other options from pushing forward, Cameron Norman is way ahead. Hayden yeah. Boyd did set that beautiful goal up for Scrimshaw against Vale, and I think he's still living on that. I think, or well, eating out on it, as they would say. Oh, unlucky Lavery then tried to just dummy the guy, didn't quite work. Watch the height towards White. Yes, he's been bad throughout the season. Where he's come back from suspension, he's been good. We don't hate it. Oh, goal. Oh, Osadibi. First capital city, Baku. You don't know that one. He's failed on the first one, Keith. <laughs> Great defending. Agree about Norman, yeah. We don't hate Hayden White, but um, we just think he's <laughs> he's been eating out on Valium. We don't hate Hayden White, and he's done a reasonable job, but I just think Cameron Norman's a much better player. Corners coming in. On your head, son. Yes. Clark, where's that Clark? He has scored. Oh, oh, where's the celebration gone? He's not going to do the dive on the floor this time. Oh. Let's uh, let's see if we can get a clip. <laughs> no, it's a, well, what's this? Like? Hang on, hang on, hang on. The reward for that is the corner. The corner is brilliantly flipped on by Keelan Lavery, one that probably won't get mentioned that much there, but he gets in front of him. That was good, that. That was, that was We're up. Azerbaijan. Stephen was the back up. Azerbaijan. Yeah, that was nice. Nice little goal, that. Um, Walsall down the score and hoof tappings like that. We needed a poacher. Little did we realise that uh, James Clark was the man. 
Yeah. James Clark just tapped it in. I think it was it Lavery that got the little touch that took it through to him. Um, yeah. You'll see that. We've we've got a copy of it. We're going to put that on uh, Insta at half time. Against Corey, and now he's got two in the space of eight days now. As the Sadler's leave by Dalton Hill at the community stadium, and uh, Corey trouble for the home side were deep in uh, the fire. The Lions women's right there, he didn't know which way to flank, did he? Throwing for Warsaw. I'm just having a look at that myself now. That replay. <laughs> Building with that possibly chance to force the ball. Come on, mate. James Clark, it is. Another one. Turn it home. Colchester nil. Also won the score at the community setting. Five of his seven career goals. <laughs> James Clark had been scored. That bad touch. I know it's Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon got the touch. Second capital, Sophia. Bulgaria. Bulgaria, that's right. Hungary ain't Sophia or Bulgaria. Sophia. Is, uh, is it Hungary or Bulgaria? Hungary. Yeah, I think it's Hungary as well. No, we think it's what? Bulgaria. We're going Bulgaria. How come Holden is out? He got a knock in the last game, Benjamin. Um, and I think he's sort of just uh, been protected, really. After after a long injury, it's not worth risking it. Correct, Bulgaria, says Keith. Very good. What's the capital of Hungary? Do you know that one? Stomach. Stomach. <laughs> Sam Perry's so calm on the ball, isn't he? Nothing seems to... Nothing seems to... What's that? Stress him. Stress, him. Stress yeah. him at all. He's very calm. He got a player on his back then. He just didn't panic at all. Budapest, capital of Bulgaria. Or capital of Hungary, sorry. You're getting all confused with these now. Go on then, give us another one. Hungary, yeah. I better update the thing. One nil up. It's not, not used to it, are we? Bad news for uh, Colchester, of course, but uh, Walsall heading for promotion. <laughs> for promotion. You're having no, that. Bloody hell. Barky. Mm -hmm. It was about 20 minutes, wasn't it? It was 20. Yeah, yeah. We might go up to as far as 17th, I thought, today. <laughs> we actually might finish mid-table. <laughs> might get to mid-table in the end if we can't keep this up. Warsaw, after Colchester's early flourish, Warsaw are looking, uh, getting a bit more of the ball. Capital of Kenya, Stephen. You don't know Kenya. I think you're good at these. In fact, you are good at them. You are good at them. Capital of Kenya. Next capital, Harare. You are. That's not even a place. Harare. Oh, that's nice there. That was Sadler. You know that one. He's not. Uh, to be honest, he, te I, he asked me to test him. He asked me to test him a few days ago, and I came up with some spurious ones he didn't get. Oh, well done, Kinsella. Nick just got the ball back. Also, DB, give the ball away then, trying to go past him. Correct, Ben Nairobi is the capital. What's Hayden White doing? He just took the ball off Rose. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Oh, what's the capital of Zimbabwe? 
I don't know. Oh. That's what I say in the country. I think we're better off with counties, I think. Now, great cross there, Colchester. The guy, centre forwards, tried to turn with it. And the keeper has just come down. Rose has got, gone down, just about to grab the ball. And Hayden White, Hayden White effectively took it out of his hands and tried to make the box with it. He, to clearing the ball. Now Caught in possession now, Warsaw. Colchester have the ball again. Here's a funny one. Bikini Faso. Do you know that one? Harare is the capital of Zimbabwe. I think somebody's either very knowledgeable or they're on Google. One of the two. Oh no. Warsaw defended in numbers. Got away with that then. Uh, Gordon trying to bring it away. Has to be brought down. Oh, he's got a red. He's got the red card out. He's got the red card out, but he meant yellow. Uga Duga Goo. What's that? Uga Duga Goo. We ain't even going to try it. I didn't quite even say that, Keith. The ref's got a red card out, but he meant yellow. Yeah. What country is Warsaw in? Poland. <laughs> Warsaw. He spelt it Warsaw. Poland. Small town in Warsaw. No, small town in Poland. It's the. Uh, I think there's a fan magazine up there. A little town in Poland. This is Osadibi. Osadibi free kick. Uh, midway inside there off. Balls up on your head, son. Oh. Headed over for a corner. Warsaw starting to get a bit more possession. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Very rarely score from corners. It's that uh, we need that pouching striker again, don't we? We need a, a striker. James Clark. Country, not our county. Sorry, what county is Warsaw in? Uh, West Midlands, the West Midlands county, I would say. What county is he talking <laughs> Yeah, it's in the, it's the West Midlands. <laughs> just, just that, the keeper came out to take that goal, take that free kick then, and the guy kicked it out of his hands. They are a bit of a mix up, aren't they, Colchester? Yeah, but you can't say, you can tell the about us. What there was a rumour that Colchester were going out of business, but uh, their chairman has sort of said it's not the case. I mean, there's no doubt that they have been under a lot of financial pressure. So uh, a lot of these teams sort of uh, playing outside of their means. Or Candy's Walsley. Um, it was in Staffordshire until the 70s. Also, he didn't want to get injured then, did he? Yeah. He went. He went for it though. He went. He went for it. Like, <coughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, Walsall used to be Staffordshire. I think Bilston used to be Staffordshire at one point. Warsaw right throw just inside their half on the right hand side. Warsaw looking much, looking more comfortable now. Colchester is still giving us some trouble, but. Fewer games in the two than Warsaw, but there's too many teams that have uh, won fewer as well. So, all about the draws, <laughs> the stalemates on the road. Kinsella, he got, got the ball off him then. Mm. Yeah. So, it looks like the Albion are going down. Isn't it? I think Blues are staying up, aren't they? Yeah. Blues are staying up. Blues are only going down now. Getting Warsaw back into League One. 
that's a priority. Can we do that next season? What do you reckon? I reckon we can. Um, the thing is, I suppose we're only. Uh, oh. oh, that was a spectacular. Feligi, there, number 39. Not quite a bicycle kick, but a uh, half volley. And a great uh, acrobatics scry uh, shot for uh, just gone wide of the box, wide of the area, wide of the goal. Tipton is just called the tip now. Tipton. Remember when we saw that smoke? Yeah, when we were driving down our road. Yeah, that's from that prison. In prison, yeah. You've got to shoot some socks off uh, Melbourne. So on, talking about on the beach. Talking about on the beach, he's lying down without his shoes on. He's got to... He's got a <coughs> he's got a double sock on. Maybe his shoes are too big for him. Hang on, we got two players down now. Talk about on the beach. That's gonna go on then. As that's, uh, I think that's funny. I don't know about you. But you probably don't. You don't know what I mean by on the beach. Oh, it's off, man. It's what do you mean on the beach? Well, they say when a when a team's safe and got nothing to play for, they don't play with the same intensity. And they say the it's like they're already on the beach or already on holiday for the end of the season. Here's the goal again. Yeah. That's, that's uh, lovely. Now, lovely got the head, and he, I think Josh Gordon, Josh Gordon just uh, shielded the ball to let it go through for Clark. Yeah, I think so. You know, when the something seems to attack, he seems to just shift, try and shift into the middle. But um, the way I looked at it originally was that maybe a four. Yeah, so on the beach, is they're thinking about their start, summer holiday already? Well, Walsall winning 1 0, 33 minutes gone, and uh, looking comfortable now after a, a very positive 10 minutes. What's he doing? One of their players just rolling on the floor. He just, he just held him back. Though. He was holding him back. Where's Come on, Tyreek. Come on, Tyreek. And Oh, he... Tyreek, Everton and Celtic, looking at him apparently. Yeah. Everton and Celtic. I don't think the chances, I, I don't think Warsaw's chances of having him next year are getting close. Well, if Everton after him, he might go Everton rather than Warsaw, you think? Everton, well, it'd just be like the second with Charleston, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't think he's ready for Premiership football. He needs to. Uh, yeah, but he's ready for a lot. Scottish Premier League either. If he goes yeah. to Celtic, imagine the Celtic Rangers game. He's going to get. He's going to die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you got. That was uh, quite composed, Walsall again. Then he's not the ball out to. Uh, Max Melbourne's coming down the left wing looking for somebody to make a run. Kinsella looking further forward, Melbourne again. Kinsella. Come on, we're not going anywhere, boys. Morsel throw. Warsaw weren't going anywhere then. Needed a needed a left winger. Some of the likes of uh, Wes McDonald, you know, who used to play for us. But they've had a good, they've had a couple of chances. Uh, Colchester, they've. Uh, their big game, of course, is against Southend. I think that's next game up for them. Southend, if they were to, if Southend were to beat them. Oh, then they're, they're riding the messy stuff. McDonald's goal was way better. 
than uh, Asadibis, I think. Corner ball, well defended uh, Perry. So Joe Willis is on the bench. I don't know whether he'll get a bit of a run out at some point. Has anybody seen much of Joe Willis? I haven't, to be honest. But I think he's a, it's a central midfield player. I think he's more of a CDM again, isn't he? I think. Wiradu will cut it back for Chilvers now. Chilvers squaring it for Welsh Hayes in a central position, 35 yards from goal. They'll clip the ball into the penalty area. It's headed back towards Pell, who's just Come inside on. the penalty box here. Pell was had a right footed ball in. There was a push on Sadler as he got his head to that ball. Referee saw nothing wrong with it. Will it bounce here for Eastman? It's a chance left side, and it's Dyer's cut back on the other post. And there is turned home by Felivi. Oh, <laughs> Equalizer. Nolan on the bench. Now he's. Uh, Nolan's. It's a bit of a calamitous uh, defending. Or I say calamitous defending. It was just good work from uh, Colchester, I think. Sadler's got a stumble. Perry's got up and their bigger guy has got it. Yeah. I don't know if I blame Rose for that. Joe Willis is a decent player from the games I've seen in the youth team, says uh, Walter Tilladoy. So we're uh, Colchester level. Yeah, there's a couple of fouls. A couple of fouls there, but uh, Folivi has got the equaliser. Yeah, I think they've uh, they've done all right to be honest. Oh, well done, one Hayden White. Lavery. Lavery doing well on the. Oh, just gone out of play. Afternoon, gents. Mark. I uh, don't see why Roberts has been taken out, to be honest, says Benjamin. Those who saw that, I think, I don't know whether Jack Rose could have done a bit better with that as that popped around. But um, I don't know. I wouldn't specifically blame him, but I mean, he, he didn't exactly dilly dally. We weren't heroic either. Just popped in to say, Hello, me old mucker, says Trinity. <laughs> Good to have you with us. All those new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you uh, catch our updates. Yeah, I think Colchester have deserved uh, to be level, to be honest. Oh, another shot. Another shot from Colchester. It's not going to bother Rose, though. But uh, the clean sheets out the window. Yeah, they had a few chances, haven't they, Colchester? In fairness. Oh, in trouble. Hey, Josh Gordon playing. Um, he's he's chasing around, but hasn't had much. He hasn't had a chance yet. You would have heard my uh, <laughs> slightly aghast, oh my god, then, because that would have been the most freakish Melbourne. Nearly. Because even though that was a bubble, that was. Have you ever tried a picture in picture, top left hand corner? Picture in picture. 
Um, I don't think I can do that. Um, I think I'll get in trouble if I start doing that. Picture in picture, top left hand corner. I don't know. I don't know whether I could do that actually, but we never do any good at Colchester. That's going to change, I think. We're going to be okay. Headed clear. <laughs> oh, Rose did well to get down there. Any spilling at all, and the Colchester got two strikers there ready to tap in any slips. Got the ball in hard and low. He's done well to hold that down. In fact, there was three. Three Colchester players waiting for the tapping. So he, uh, I'm pleased with that. He did well then. Tails are up, obviously, Colchester. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. They know they need points, don't they? Fellini after another one is it it wide home side definitely uh, looking they did well the first 10 15 minutes and were all over us and then water came into it but um they're looking they're looking more likely now Walsall need a bit of a freshen up I think yeah, or just a need a bit of a freshen up. I think uh, Brian Dutton won't be very happy with them at half time. Being a bit sloppy. I think we're uh, doing well to be level at the minute. <laughs> Hayden White. Interesting ball, but it's uh, not not quite got through this man. Oh, I can see some in you know. Yeah. Yeah. Where's, Where's McDonald? McDonald? Where's McDonald? What's happened to Wes McDonald? Does anybody know what's happened? I reckon Wes McDonald's If he comes changes half time, hopefully. Well, it'd be nice to see uh, Wes McDonald um, before he leaves. He's obviously going, isn't he? It's, you were helping. Uh, Josh Gordon's just got a knock in the face. Hopefully, Brian changes something to half time, says Benjamin. Yeah. Well, I think it's. We're definitely looking more beach like than uh, we have done. I think he's just had a, an arm on his arm on across his nose. I think great live stream looks so professional. Really? You're kidding, are you? <laughs> <laughs> is, it take, is that Mickey take or not Trinity? I don't know. I don't know where that's. Uh, I think he must be teasing things. <laughs> We do our best. Yeah. We do our best. 44 minutes. We've got free kick. Tori Roy knocking it into the box. On your head, son. Oh. Tori Roy's going to let that go for a throw in, I think. No. No. Oh. Oh, it's a booking. Tyreek Wright, disappointed with himself. The guy is running away from him. And rather than chase him down, he's clicked his heel. That was a stupid card for Tyreek Wright. Oh. I did that. I can remember I did that once. I did that once playing football. Yeah. Somebody, they'd, uh, they'd got the ball off, off me and he was just pulling away from me. And I thought, I'm never going to catch him. And I just flicked his foot. I just flicked his foot. Hang on, let me tell you. I've just flicked his just flicked his heel and he went down like a sack of potatoes. But when he got up, he was like twice the size of me. I thought he was gonna knock the uh oh, knock I, the I, detail I had, out I, of me. I had a great time in a, <laughs> a, a couple of months ago when it was really muddy. Yeah. Cheers, Trinity, thank you. Yeah, a couple of months ago in PE, yeah. 
and um, he got the ball past me, and he was just coming past. Like he played the ball through. Yeah. I was like, "Why? Oh, he's got past me. I'm not going to be able to catch up with him." So I from booted him, just like just below the knee. You booted him, yeah. <laughs> clipping somebody's ankles. Yeah, one thing, it, but it booting was, him. It was like get yourself like, sent off. Yeah, no, I didn't get sent off though. The ref didn't look. It was like was the it? ref didn't look. Yeah, can you stand up? Please? I'm not no, standing no, no, up. No, 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 no. It's not really bad. Yeah, so basically, it's, is it away from him? Is it away from him? And then just basically, yeah, <laughs> just, just, just took him and he just went like that, face first into the mud. Oh, yeah, yeah. great tackle. <laughs> so this here, who, would you blame? Yes. Would you blame Rose here? What's this? Yes. I don't think he could do anything there. He, he didn't do anything in the first. The ball came like right across his face. I know. He just, I don't think he could do anything with that. Looks a bit of a dive of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was bad from Tyree Wright. I think if uh, if we've got a, a ref like. Uh, a manager like Brian Clough would have substituted Tyreek Wright straight away for that. Brian Clough, he'd have just got Tyreek Wright, get him off, and have none of that. Foot over the line again. Get it away. <laughs> That's, uh, it's going to be half time whistle now, I think. I did the same too. He got up and chased me up the pitch and tried to punch me at half time. And then he got red carded for it, <laughs> says Keith. So I think probably we've all done it out at the time. This wasn't a professional game. This was sort of like a game up the park sort of thing. And, um, yeah, the guy got back up, and I thought he was going to bail me, to be honest. But I uh, got away with it in the end. And ball, then. Goal. That's a goal on the stroke of half time. The thing is, it's happened again, hasn't it? It's happened again. We've gone over minutes yet. Yeah. The ref should have blown the ball went out for half time. Yeah, I mean, like, that the was annoying. That was no, this no, we're in the ball went out for the throw in. Yeah. This is my problem. Time. This is my problem with Rose. Target. A great volley. It's 2 1. You know what, Tom? I can't even think of the name of the thing is, that happened against Cambridge, didn't it? Look, yeah. we're, we're over extra minutes, yeah. Look, we, we've, we've played like another two minutes of this. Yeah. The ref should have blown, yeah, when the ball went out of play for the first yeah. But he didn't, and he let it, and he let it play. And I'm a bit disappointed with Cambridge. I'm a bit disappointed with Rose then. I'm a bit disappointed with Rose then. This is it, the, the thing with Rose, he handles things quite nicely, but I mean. You'll kick down, you'll blow the whistle. Are we even doing half time? No, I think he's playing straight through. I think. Wait till Warsaw get the ball in the box. And that's it. Isn't it? See? <laughs> oh, it's been coming, says Nige. You're not wrong there. Health of Villa Reserves v Hensford Town was really funny. Everyone came up to me at the end saying it was the best bit of the game. <laughs> So Warsaw had the lead, yes. they pegged us back, and then um, Rose. <coughs> Oh. I've got to be honest, that's um, Rose. He's Rose, he's not a shot stopper, is he? He's not a shot stopper because in though he's had two clean sheets prior to this, but I mean, he's not a shot to save, hardly. First two shots come in, really. Well. Colchester want it more than us at the minute. Absolutely want it more than us. 
But they've not got a good defensive record, Colchester. So uh, it's definitely not over. Let's just check uh, league. Let's just uh, check the table. Yeah, Colchester they conceded 60 goals. Conceded 60 goals. They've conceded more in the league than uh, anybody apart from Oldham, who just they're just goal fanatic. They've scored more and conceded more than anybody else in the league. Which is a bit mad, really. But um, yeah, Colchester. This would be a big step towards safety for them if they could uh, finish it off. Be very disappointed for Brian Dutton. Benjamin Hall. Rose doesn't stretch when he dives. He just falls on the ground. Benjamin, I think you're right there. Um, defending is awful. Funniest part was when I was the goalie and was doing my swing for keeper duties. <laughs> oh, could do some clips of those, Keith. That would be good. So uh, put those on the stream. So here we are, Warsaw. Let me just up that, update the banner. Not that it's an uh, exciting update. Oh dear, Colchester two, Warsaw one. I didn't even get the scorer for that one. And, uh, too busy enjoying the banter. Oh dear, tramping. Yes, uh, that's a night through. Oh. I can see why you call Roberts better, <laughs> says Warsaw till I die. A jetty, a kang. What a disappointment from Warsaw, indeed. Yeah, Ro Roberts, Roberts does make the occasional gaff, but I mean, he's much more agile as a shop, st as a shop stopper. And um, and Rose is Rose looks good, looks solid, fields quite well, good kicker, but um, the fundamentals of goalkeeping is stopping the ball going in the net, and um, there any strength. But uh, I think we've got. Him, I think Steve mentioned. We I think we've got him for another year. I don't think he's out of contract, so it could be that we still go at him. But I mean. Whether we get Roberts on a new contract or get a new goalkeeper in, I don't know. Will either goalkeeper be enough to uh, get us challenging at the top of the table? Keith Shepherd says, I'll contact my dad who's bound to have it somewhere. Oh, the video. <laughs> we'll send them over to you when I get them. Yeah, it'd be good. I'll put I'll put that definitely put that on my channel. If we can get those from you, Keith, that'd be good. I didn't. Uh, I didn't play professionally. I think I was far too short for that, and uh, not good enough. It's probably another one. But I did have some highlights. Um, I played for Beacon Radio All Stars. A friend of mine, Dazzling Dave. I think you know Dazzling Dave from uh, his Wolves fan channel. He was working for the Beacon Radio at the time, and I was working for Sandwell Hospital Radio. And um, I played a game for Beacon Radio All Stars, and I scored a beauty of a goal. Um, Dave had knocked it over, and I sort of cut inside in front of the left back, between the left back and the centre half, controlled it with my right foot, and then dinked it over the keeper into the bottom left hand corner, and uh, turned away to celebrate in front of the six people that were watching. It was the that's a memory I'll never forget. And um, had another game for them, and we played against. A team, they were the five-a-side champions, and they got Keith Downing playing for them. The uh, the guy is a midfielder he used to play for the Wolves, Psycho they used to call him. And I was playing midfield, but I never got near him. Every time he got near the ball, I went to try and challenge him because I thought that'd be my highlight to win the ball off him. But every time he got the ball, he was just like pfft. he was just on a different planet to me. Really, I got nowhere near him. Uh, that's my two highlights or my two uh, bits, I think. <laughs> oh, you know Dave, Keith. Very good. Yeah, Dazzling Dave or Milt, as I know him. 
Um, he's been a good buddy of mine, my probably best mate, I suppose. My best mate since since about thirteen, I think. Best mate, so that's about forty years. He's been my best mate. Crazy Dave, mad, mad as a bag, mad as a box of frogs. But um, he says, Ozzy, we never do well at Colchester. I can't remember the last time we won down there. Yeah, I think it's a bit like Gillingham. I think Gillingham's a team we always struggle against away matches. It's getting down that down south, isn't it? Uh, right then, I'm going to have a top up and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Have you got any questions for Stephen? Because Stephen's always good for a question. A random question for Stephen or a random question for me? I can always tell you about my book. If you if you want me to tell you about the book, but yeah, any random questions for us? Um, this is the time. Just pop those in on the messages, on the comments, and uh, I'll be back after I've got a drink. Uh, we just got one here. Uh, I played cricket against Kevin Peterson. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, Rose generally play around his area. Maybe better than Robo, but Robo's a better shot stopper. Absolutely. Was you talking about me? I was out. At the ice cream van. I was out at the ice cream van. No, no. <laughs> I was um I was talking about my football exploits. But yeah, any questions for me or Stephen? Oh. Um bring them on. I'm just gonna get a drink. Got open question for him, Stephen. Okay. Questions for you, questions for me. Right. Okay. Well, you uh, you're right for a drink, aren't you? You've had half the Pepsi in the house. Thanks, Stephen. Yeah. Come here, sir. <coughs> Waiting for the chip van. <laughs> Hi, Lee. Good to have you back on. Uh, Tommy Bradshaw, I rate Cutler very highly. He told me, obviously, questions of degrees, but he would pick a good shot stopper over a keeper who commands his area, as over the season you'll save more. Yeah, and that's why Liam Roberts starts when he's fit. That's what I would say. Um, Carlisle United, Port Vale, nil-nil. Southend got another point. That point's not going to do him any good, though, I don't think. Scunthorpe lost. Oh, dear. So, oh. I point. I think this is where we find out. Hang on. This is where we find out at half time. Brian Dutton, is he going to make a good manager? Half time, Colchester have been on top. They're probably going to want to sit back now and probably try and uh, play the game out now they've got ahead, one would think, because they're uh, desperate for the points. Can he change it? Can he motivate the players? Can he make those changes that's going to turn the game in Warsaw's favour? 
and that's what the very best managers do. So that's what I'm looking for from Brian Dutton. Sort of see what he's made of. See what he's made of second half. Will he uh, get Warsaw sorting this second half out against the Colchester team? Who, in fairness, aren't that good. But they are fighting for their lives, as we know. Desperate for points. Can Warsaw break their hearts and turn this round to get our third win on the bounce? Um, Carl thinks we definitely need a point from this. I agree. I think another point, get us on to 50 points, would sort of uh, just keep the comfort factor in there and keep the winning run or the keep the undefeated run going. So we definitely don't want to be losing this game. But, but as I say, Brian Dutton, can he earn his corn and show us what he's worth? And um, get war performance. Get us performing this second half. Barrow, of course, lost against Lake Norient earlier. So uh, there's no pressure from them. Great result for Grimsby. They got a win. Um, what else have we got? Um, Mansfield. They picked a result up as well. So uh, there's a few results gone on. Hate still scoring regardless of the result. <laughs> Well, we need Rory Gaffney back. Why are the toilets blocked? <laughs> that says Benjamin. Oh, dear. Right then. As I sort of mentioned earlier, uh, next Saturday, we are not going to be on a live stream. If, um, if somebody else wants to do it, I'll put it on the channel. But... Um, I don't know whether I should be offering that out, really, but still, whatever. Um, yeah, we got got uh, Salford at home on Tuesday and then a way to Scunthorpe on Saturday. If uh, somebody wants to do the live stream on the channel for me next week, but um, I think we'll probably just have a break, I think. Um, we're going to be travelling for the uh, DV silver that Stephen's practicing for. So, yeah, there'll be no live stream next Saturday. <sighs> All good. We're sort of getting into that calm time of the season now. Warsaw is safe, or not mathematically safe, but I think with uh, Southend only getting a point today, they need to win every game to get any chance of going past us. And uh, I think Warsaw still like to get points. Um, teams are back out again. So um, has Brian Dutton given them the call? Has he whipped them up into a frenzy to get them performing this second half? Stephen, we're back on. We've got an injury, I think. Yeah, that was that was disappointing, really. Disappointing. But I think Colchester Colchester deserved it, if we're honest, didn't we? Right. Colchester deserved it. If anything, we're helping now, and that's what we need to do. We're helping them to send South End down at the minute. Must have been a better game than the FA Cup semi-final. Well, I did contemplate watching that, but obviously uh, when the Super Saddlers are on, then you you got no option, have you? Having looked at the director of football appointment, the guy's full of quotes, should be on Dragon's Den. <laughs> oh, dear. Just proves you can cook a Rogan Josh from scratch in 15 minutes. Let's hope the second half is as spicy as this. Very good. Hi Liam, welcome back. Yeah, the director of football, he's got some good contacts and he's good at good at developing youth players, 17 to 23 age bracket. That is the kind of age bracket we want to be bringing through. So I think over the next few years, 
Maybe we bring in some talented youngsters. Long throw comes in, headed clear south end. Up and under, back in. Oh no, it's not towards the box. How did he win that ball? Warsaw would have fell there. Josh Gordon ran across the guy. Hey, we got a free kick then, I'll never know. <laughs> so that gives Warsaw about uh, a shot from about 35, 40 yards out. I don't know how he managed to get the free kick there, to be honest. Sanders trailing by two goals to one. They don't lose too many on the road. Just four before. Today's that's uh, 18, 28. Yeah, that's about, that's about 35 yards. So, Alsa D be looking to lip, chip this one into the box for uh, Clarky, Clarky or Sadler to get ahead on it. Ooh. Come on, Perry. Come on, Perry. Let's get a shot away. On the edge of the box, going nowhere at the minute, looking for help. Looking for help, not getting it. Oh, goal kick. Nobody supported Perry then. He needed help. He was forced away from goal. Now subs. Now subs at the minute. Looking at the stats, Colchester 10 shots to our two, five on target to our one. So I don't think we can complain about being one down. Where was the support? Tommy Bradshaw, that's quite right. None. He was uh, lost. 200 didn't knock it back to the goalkeeper because that's the only place he'd got anywhere to play to, perhaps. And ball, that was it, wasn't it? Oh. Also, DB on the left now. What can he do? Chips into the box on your head, son. Oh, keepers come out and climb really well. Then he's done well. Then climb that well. I don't know why Tory Wright's going in the box. <laughs> he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna try and header it near the goalie, is he? Trying to remember the 4 4 draw that I was here for in the, uh, the season, they uh, nearly got promoted out of League One. Hayden, what was he doing? That's a uh, past clearance. Do remember away fans opposite us cheering four times in that exact position where the, uh, the phone cardboard cut out Cyrus. Where are you going? Gordon, in a very defensive position, has played the ball back to Jack Rose, who, uh, with the ball bobbling just in front of him, was very sensible there to take a touch before he clears it over halfway towards Tyreek. Come on, Warsaw. Why did they hit the Sadler's bench? Because uh, the Colchester have been forced into on a half time uh, substitute with uh, Ben Stevenson. Coming on. Not, uh, Joe Willis, Joe Willis on the bench. He might get a run out, I think, at some point. But I think Walsh are going to try and uh, get back into the game first. I think. Oh, that's a nice touch. out so they be pushed him down again, Kinsella. We're do. He's going to get a booking. They're collecting the bookings. They're going to have a player off if they're not careful, uh, Colchester. Lost our way a bit at the moment. Yes, I think you're right, Tommy. I think it's a bit of a shock conceding a goal. We've been uh, doing so well. Defensively, we've been solid, but those two goals, the second of those, Jack Rowe should have definitely stopped the second one. So uh, Osa DB trying to float one into the box again. They've been heading clear quite well so far, but heading by Perry. Head tennis coming on. It's back up. Josh Gordon on the right hand side, looking for support. How yeah, we thought Del Boy was replacement for Adi Bayo. <laughs> Somebody's head has to roll for that decision. Daryl Clark, his head was rolling. His head was rolling all the way to Vale. 
we we he, he did us a kipper, Daryl Clark, I think. Effectively agreeing for Adebayo to go and not bringing a replacement in before he uh, strolled up the road is uh, scandalous. Del boy, blew me neck. I'm sure I'm sure his mum loves him, but that's about all I think. Josh gets himself a goal, you know. It, it Josh Gordon for the remaining games that we've got in this season. It was 18 matches ago now that strike from uh, Gordon. In the 18 goals, 18 games ago since he scored. Since he scored. That included, included one penalty miss in that. The final games of the season, helping out Hayden Mullins, the, uh, the new interim. Clark sold us down the river. You ain't kidding, mate. It was great business to sell out of Bayo. It's just not bringing in a replacement striker is just crazy. And I think um, Lee Pomlet was a bit naive to let that happen. I think it's fair to say that Jamie Fullerton, having someone like him in the position, he, um, he wouldn't have let that happen, I don't think. Lack of character and class by Clark. Never thought he was that like that. Well, I suppose Clark's done what he wanted to do for him, hadn't he? And um, you get that, don't you? He's going to get sent off, Wiradu. We just I don't know what's going on there. Vale fixed you next year will be spicy. Yeah, well, I think. Vile should be doing reasonable next season and uh, Walsall hopefully. So if we're both uh, up the top, that would be uh, good for the the Midlands region. As long as Walsall are topping them. Yeah, as long as Walsall have... Uh, Come on, get it. Tie it right. Oh, that's a bit short, that. Hayden White, Hayden White trying to get the ball over. No. Oh. That's Wiradu again. How did that come through to him? Come on, Tori it right now. you got all the time in the world there, mate. What's he doing there? They've got all the space. They got loads of space on the left then, and didn't use it. Felivi, he's, uh, he's up for it, isn't he? He's blocked the shot. See how easily he got that shot away. Then Hayden White should have been blocking that. Yeah. What Clark's achieved zero except Bristol Rovers. Yeah. Well, he's he's had a, he's got he's got Vale on a good run, hasn't he? He's sort of got them out of danger. But I mean, but that's not uh, that's not real achievement, is it? That's just a blip. Hayden White just got the ball out of play again. It's funny, we, we can be playing and then we bring Cameron Norman on and suddenly this is like a an injection of life in the team. Yeah. Get bloody Cameron Norman on for Hayden White. On his feet as well. Wes McDonald? Yes. Whatever next. Get him on that switch. Wes McDonald might get a kick. Oh, no idea. He ain't going to take out the DB off, is he? It's his love child. Well, probably not, actually. But I mean, he's, 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 uh, he's an adopted son, perhaps. Yeah. And they're probably about the same age, aren't they? I think. That's the DB and the manager. Yeah, there's only 35 the manager. Yes, yeah, well, the size is even so. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, I'm not sure he's parent at all. Anyway, right then. 55 minutes gone. Colchester still 2 1 up. Walsall huffing and puffing, thinking about a couple of subs. Come on, Walsall. We want more out of your second half. Come on. 
They've only won one in 25. They're confident, aren't they? They're just going to happy to knock it round, aren't they? They're going to contain. That's going to the other centre half. Watch this. Oh no, he's gone for launch, isn't he? Well, he's gone to the centre half. He's gone to our centre half. He's headed it straight back to him. Their confidence is uh, building. They're happy to just knock it round, aren't they? That's been going to him. He'll knock that back to his centre half. What is Although back it comes to yep. see so they're just happy to keep possession, aren't they? We didn't he should have gone straight for that then. Tyler Roy didn't commit to try and win that, did they? No, he should he should just see he should have done what Gordon did then. Gordon's committed to winning the ball, isn't he? Yeah. Come on, Warsaw. We're going to show it the second half. Where's McDonald? Bit of magic. Show what he can do for wherever he's going. The ref's having a word with him about uh, wasting time, I think. They no regret wasting time when we've scored a couple. McDonald's got uh, uh, Melbourne's come out for him. You see, hey, the white then start holding off him. The guy, the ball's coming down. Ah. If McDonald comes on, it'd be like hiring something. <laughs> Not using it just before you had it back. If you decide at least you try, you get your money's worth. <laughs> I can't understand why Wes is not playing, particularly now we're safe and we're trying to win points. He did. Oh. See then again, Tyree Wright. That was a 50 50 ball, and he just waited. They're saying this went in. No, it wasn't. It looked like a handball. Tyree Wright. Get him off. He's just not, he's not committed. Stick a foot in right. He's, um, Wright's going through the motions. He's not, he's not got the desire. He knows he's not a Warsaw player. He knows he's not going to be here next season. He doesn't want to get injured. And he's got nothing to prove, has he? Yeah. I mean, it's going to go off. I think Tyree White's got to go off. He's just not showing that. I feel like Gordon's going to come off instead. Maybe. Another foul on Gordon. I feel like Gordon and Rassidy. He ain't going to take out of it. He's not going to take. Send him back. I think the racing thing might have affected Wright's performance. Um, I don't think it's anything to do with that. I don't think it's anything to do with that. I think he's just going through the motions. He's just going through the motions. That was nice, Slavery. I like that. Perry was a bit too pedestrian there, and the uh, guy got the tackling. Yeah, they're still on the ball though, so you shouldn't really blow. Just a the, uh, slight yeah. fell, I think, by Gordon. Yeah, but like, I mean, they have the ball. Powers are right. <laughs> right then, McDonald is coming on Answer for the Bates. last half an hour, and Alfie Bates. And that's going to be for Kinsella. Whoa, that's a. Uh... Kinsella's coming off. That's the first time in ages. They don't substitute Kinsella very often. I think that's just giving Alfie some minutes, really. Yeah, and White's coming off. And Tyree Wright's coming off for Wes McDonald. Well, that's a good change. 
I wouldn't think Kinsella's injured or anything. I think it's just giving uh, giving Alfie minutes. I think. Yeah, probably. I think it's giving Alfie minutes. I'm a little bit surprised to see Ben Kinsella come up with the tenacity offers in the middle. I don't feel like now, back, it'd be interesting to see what Wes McDonald does now. Whether he looks like he's going to try and uh, whether he's trying, it'd be interesting to see whether Wes McDonald's going to looking like he's trying to win a contract or whether he's just and um, just having a game. You know what I mean? And that's a definite different uh, different mentality, isn't it? To clear it away. Over halfway it goes to Lavery now. We'll try and bring it down on that left hand side. He's oh. all in place as the assistant referee. Lavery coming forward now. A couple of step overs. It's a square ball. Shoot. Osadibi. Osadibi. Wait too long. We'll come in. Yeah. Corners in the box. Lavery with the oh. shot. But he's gone wide to the right. <laughs> Great play. Good to see Bates getting more game time. Yeah. Wes on Pauza off. Lavery, he's done well, I think. Lavery today. The refs uh, picking up on their uh, wasting time. Well, we had that eight minutes, didn't we, in that game a couple of games ago? We don't know where that came from. That was against uh, Forest Green, wasn't it? Yeah. And this. Oh, they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> These are probably doing way more time wasting. And, uh, Hayden Moyne did a quality, uh, got in front of him and then got a click. Look at him, he's running the wrong way there. Oh, Perry's. Uh, Perry was trying to get going there, wasn't he? Perry was trying to get going. To be fair, we could easily have been three or three or four one down in this. Yeah. Having to give a drop ball probably now. I think it's stopped again for the for the second time this match for a Colchester man who was down with a neck injury. I think he was, <laughs> the rules changed. <laughs> I think he's just checking to see the uh, the Colchester man's okay there, but didn't even switch his leg. The ball's out of play anyway, so he doesn't need a. Have we got Wes on the ball yet? No, we haven't touched it yet. We've got Alfie, Alfie on the ball. That's a goal kick. So, the minutes are running by. 64 minutes gone. we got Wes and uh, Alfie on. We need to get. We need a goal. Wes hasn't had a touch yet. His first touch will be uh, smashing it in the net for the equaliser. In the centre circle, it is with Nubray. He managed to help it out to his left hand side on Wiradu. He'll search forward and beat Felivi now to his left hand side. Felivi running at Hayden White towards the byline. Felivi left footed ball in. There's no. He's got the ball. He's got the crossing again, hasn't he? He's not stopping the crosses. Where's he's got the first touch back to Sadler? That was a good pass. Where's <laughs> Robbie? You had Perry and 
What are we doing here? Oh, really like, but Jack Rose just didn't seem bothered, did he? <laughs> Jack Rose. If that had been untied, he'd be asking, wouldn't he? Yeah. Not able to add to his solitary goal this season, and it stays 2-1. See, he just goes, oh, yeah, I think he's going out for anyway. Yeah, but... Bring back Guthrie, I don't think so, Carl. We've never really got hold of the ball in this half, that's fair enough, Tommy, that is. Um, chance now, got Gordon on the left, get the ball across, corner ball. Corner ball for Warsaw. Off the DB on corner duty. How about this is going to be one of those where they have regret missing their chances, perhaps, yeah. Off the DB, ball into the box. From this corner, <laughs> that is an awful corner. He didn't even get off the ground, did he? That ball, it took like an inch off the ground. Perry has launched the ball back up. Oh, where's Melbourne? Can he get the cross in there? He's uh, facing away from goal, he's managed to turn, get it out of him. Perry on your head, son, headed clear. Where's McDonald now? He's going to cut inside this. He got the boy. He's done well. Oh, he tried to play it long, but he, he tried to play it back to us. Yeah, but it was just a, that was a West did well then. Yeah, West did well. Get Bates off. He's only just come on. Better corner than that. He's been dead 20 years. <laughs> and then, that was an awful corner, wasn't it? Um, Bates is all right from corners. Maybe you shouldn't get him fake it. Oh, oh, into the box. Head, what, there's nobody there for that. He's headed it away, so it's Warsaw throw. Just uh, 10 yards off. Could do with a nice Norman throw from here. But instead, we've got Austin Davies just going to. Oh, that's the awful again. A 2 1 lead at the break, and they've had further chances in the second half. <laughs> Noah Childers had a couple for Levy with a header, which was saved on the line by Jack Rose. Wiradu hitting a left footer over the bar when he should have done a lot, lot better. Lavery has dragged a shot wide for the Sanders. They're only real effort in this second period. And too many on the whole. Time the for public to give them all a kick in. Not literally, it's uh, injuries. So, Elsa DB free kick midway inside their half on the far right side. I'm gonna try and get a ball into the box. That's not a bad ball in there. On your head, son. Anybody? Alfie, Alfie's ball there. What's he doing right now? He's gonna get caught. Come on, keep the ball moving. Keep the ball moving. Alfie Bates. Lavery. Come on, Lav. Come on, Lavs. Yes, it was. I don't know whether we did really. I think Lavery was looking for his bit. But that was a good run from Lavery then. That was never a foul, was it? So uh, we've got free kick now. We've got Max, Max, Wes, Alza Davy, Paddy. Over the box, over the uh, over the ball. So 20, 20, 23 yards out. Now, from the position that they've taken it, Max Melbourne should take this and get it. Max top, Melbourne. Top corner, shouldn't he? Want, to, want somebody running in on the keeper here? Any, any scramble? Oh, Off the DB, high and wide. If only they practice free kicks in training. What do you reckon? Wes McDonald, a long range goal specialist, was um, taking That was awful. Awful effort there. 
around the outside. I think the only thing you can say there is he had the confidence to have a go. Get your boots on, Steve. He says, I'm still, you know, still yeah. the but we'll Zips with the goal against Manchester City, who's quadruple hopes are on the line. We have a lot of Gillingham won up at Oxford United in League One. This is the only game to kick off in the early evening in League Two, with Grimsby having beaten Bolton earlier on this afternoon. Yeah, I'll be disappointed if Walsall lose this, to be honest with you. And it stands, we think we'll, before certainly the start of the day, we're looking just about safe we've played uh, look at that ball bounce yeah, yeah. game here at the community stadium but they are all that two got defeat as it stands at the ball moment with Wes McDonald just inside his own half the low ball forward to Josh Gordon Gordon will a high ball back for James Clark to control and come on, on this it's what we're saying we're safe as long as we don't lose this game Come on there, let's get a bit of movement. Oh, not good enough. Well, good. Gordon's there. Uh, oh. Hayden foul. This, this, this can't be off. And he is very, very close to getting a red card here. Close. We should be off. Yeah, that's three. Step straight on his foot. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. The ref's not even gone close, has he? There. Adding to adding fouls to tallies and just continuing to do the the you know the conscious about he's not learning his lesson. Well, that's the biggest thing. The fact that he put that foul on Lavery three minutes ago and he's done it again there. He's very he's a very lucky boy to still. Who's that two? If I was Hayden Mullins, I'd certainly be looking at Yeah. Yeah, we're not mathematically safe. I think um, South End aren't going to get enough points to put us in trouble. South End um, if he was to score as Perry, sorry, you made the uh, the. If we were to score, I would be left side. Felivi again with a high cross left footed. Perry and Wiradu will battle for it. Need away. away. Need a point, quite right, Carl, I think. If you want to speak to Das Hale, Sadler's fans at the end of the Oh, I want to speak to Brian Dutton. Yeah. Das Hale. That's that same guy again. We only see this going 3 1 at the moment, says Tommy. Tom, I think you're right, mate. I think you're right. I reckon Wes McDonald's done good for the term. Wes McDonald. Wes McDonald bringing him on. He's, had, he's having a decent he's having a decent run, isn't he? I want to see more from him. But uh, is he... Is he going to get a um, chance to show a bit more willing? Wes, show that he wants to stay at Warsaw, perhaps? But, I, mean, I can't believe that he wants to from because uh, he'd have been playing he'd have been playing if he was up for staying at Warsaw he'd have been putting out more effort in and he'd be playing to be able to pick the ball up and bar some heroic defending from the young man Sam we're talking about a 3-1 yeah two blue shirts at the far post weren't they with uh, Felivi and Wiradu ready to pounce as also come forward on their left hand side is Sadler. Low ball towards Gordon. And now Melbourne back to halfway and Alfie Bates. A high ball out to the right hand side to Hayden White. Still 16 minutes of this game remaining as White comes in field. That's a ball turn by Stevenson to Perry. Low ball forward towards Gordon. Flicking off a lavery. Smith managed to get a. Just not quite happening for Warsaw. I would say that Wes isn't getting into the game that much. But it's going to be two or something, says Walsh. Like, it's going to be more than two one at the moment. 
We are perhaps going to see another goal, I think. Wes needs to step up. No, the thing is, like, he's standing position. It's not Rogan or Vindaloo from us off. It's not even Korma. <laughs> no. They need to wake up a bit, don't they, and get a bit more effort in. What's he doing? Hayden White? What the fuck is that? Is that very calm or, or crazy? Madness, mate. He's got time now. He's got time now. He's offside. Cause for themselves yeah. and their own undoing there, but they got out a bit of the ball forward to Lavery, but the uh, the side, that thing, um, a, a while ago, Oscar but Arsenal basically did that same sort of thing, yeah. But, um, and Chelsea as well, Chelsea have been doing that, yeah. The two subs in. coming on for Colchester, so um, they're like two defenders now, well, 10 and 7. I don't think so. Since West scored at Tramia, no show. That's right. Yeah, but I think he's playing since Tramia. I don't know. He's not been injured. He's not been injured, has he? Well, he's been on the bench every game. There he is. What a surprise. Why did he have to come off? I was enjoying it. Now, Wiradu's been taken off. Stop him getting sent off. He's lucky not to get sent off when he were to do. I'm happy to play this out from the back, but we are trying to lose this. Feels like it. Big game on Tuesday. They've got to face against South End. They really had to win this game here because you look at the final three games they've got. This season, Cheltenham, Salford, and Tranmere, and you can see. Where's only turns it on when the fans are in grounds? That's what Stephen said. Yeah. Where's only turns it on when the fans are in the ground? Where's leave and go to a better club? He don't deserve this. Yeah, Wes has just not shown as he this season, and you can say he's missing the fans. Attacking coach is a must, says Carl. Yeah, I think so. We need to, some experienced strikers. We need an experienced striker come couch, perhaps. Ossadibi, come, come on then. Good ball there. Also just... Passing the ball around inside the Colchester half. Osadibi to Perry. Spreading forward. Now and here's Osadibi again. He's got Hayden White and support. Osadibi just, just kicked the ball out by himself then. Bringing David Kelly as attacking coach. That's a good shout, yeah. I know he, uh, there's, there's some talking about him for a potential manager. I think Brian Dutton has done a reasonable job, but what did I say at half time? It's can he get us to can he change things around or motivate necessary to sort of get us going second half? And we've got to be honest, he hasn't done that, has he? Because we haven't looked any better second half. Brown and Morsel with a chance to get into the Colchester half again and Ossadibi outside of the Another foul. He's won a lot of fouls, Gordon has. And they talk about impact some time. He's won a lot of fouls, Gordon. We know we want him to score goals, but he's uh he's winning a lot of fouls for us. Putting himself about. Tony if he was scoring as well, I suppose uh he'd be off somewhere else. Now Gordon or about why are we not scoring? If Gordon could add goals to his games as well as what he's doing, then uh, that'd be great. He'd be, somebody else, he'd be, he'd, be, uh, he'd be off to somebody else, wouldn't he? I 
Oh, more than Gordon. Wes, come on, Wes. No, we've got the ball again. No, Bates, Bates pulled the guy to the floor. Oh. Be like being back in the eighties if we we're talking about attacking coaches. Regularly used to get bricks thrown at them. <laughs> Will Dutton get a chance to continue? Um, I think he probably will. To be honest, Carl. I think he probably will. The fans encourage Wes a lot this season, and this season he hasn't had that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, professional footballer. Come on. I know it's a change, but life is about change and adapting to change. We down to the last ten minutes plus injury time, and Wolves don't look any more like equalising than we did uh, when they scored, I suppose. Towards senior on the left hand side. Well, I'm not sure what's a DB. Uh, what's that's a DB? Doing that sort of uh, flick just outside his penalty area there. He's managed to clear the ball away the third time of asking, but that was, uh, <laughs> it was confidence by a DB. But uh, I wonder whether James Clark or maybe Brad don't might have a word in it because uh, it was astonishing when we had a whole coach smashed in. I'm not sure about that. Why, why is he doing? Oh. Can you imagine if you missed that ball there? The guy would have got it. In. Walsh are looking worse. This second half, got a bit better. You need to be able to motivate yourself if you want to be a pro footballer. Exactly. And Wes. If he needs the fans there, that's not all about. That's not. He's not doing it, is he? And he's he's not sort of. Uh, he's not doing enough, is he, to uh, deserve a start at the minute? Where's that's a show. <laughs> that's a bit of a nothing game, this, to be honest. Not looking forward to Salford. If this is what we're up to now, just uh, on the beach. Okay. Well, can we do better against them? Not up for it today. I think that's probably fair. The pitch isn't one I would like to pass back across goal line. This is Tommy. So you can see who's trying to win this, can't you? Yeah, Not really. That's a good ball inside, but I mean, Lavery wasn't in the right position to receive it. <laughs> Man's offside then, I think. Yeah. Where's he going for that? As we've seen a lot of the experienced players do now. Newbay is 29. He's had a, a number of clubs here. Uh, Chelsea youth man. He's on loan here from Plymouth for the end of the season. A senior takes the ball away from Taylor. Senior, done well then. Well done, Alfie. Alfie won the ball. Where's was unplayable for three months last season. Now he offers nothing. It's very strange. Says John Sadler. Thanks for Adebayo, says Martin Cawthorn. Maybe he's a Luton fan. Yeah, he's done well, hasn't he? Where's chip on shoulder, perhaps? Come on, Wes. What's he got now? He's holding the ball up quite well. Doesn't give the ball away very often, Wes. Come on, ball across. That's it, straight on to. Look at that, film. that's a poor. There's no energy in the pass, is that? There's no energy in the pass. Oh, no foul. Um, we don't want Wolves updates with the Warsaw match, thank you. Who's updating the Wolves thing? We're not interested in that. I say Luton is the worst place next to Cannon. <laughs> um, switch the Benny Wolves thing off. Yeah, 
Come on, Warsaw. Corner ball for uh, Colchester. And Colchester definitely looking more likely to score than Warsaw this half. Oh, and they're looking to just tap it around in the corner, aren't they? Or maybe they're trying for another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Headed it wide. I think you can best describe this as lackluster. Not awful, but there. Yeah, it's been a poor game, really. Bates gives away too many fouls. Yeah, he did that when he came in before. But he's got he's got some learning to do, hasn't he? He's got some learning to do. What kind of a pass back was that? You to put more energy in a pass. This game on the field for the Sanders in just a second. Oh, see, coming on. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. He'll be coming on for Gordon or Lavery, I suppose. OCR. What do you reckon? What do you reckon the chances are of OCR surprising us? Oh, I actually. I reckon he's going to do Is OCR going to surprise us? Is he going to surprise us? Have we got to redo our contracts discussion? Yeah. Oh. Hit it wide. Dell on time to switch off. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Dell boy. We named him early, didn't we? Dell boy. It's pretty. LCR coming on for Alsa DB. Interesting. He's obviously resting out of the beat for Tuesday. I'll see you Del Boy to get the John Sadler. If uh, Del Boy gets the gets the equaliser, I'll take it all back. But um, I'm not expecting. I'm not expecting too much from him. Oh, Josh, you get the crossing. Couldn't quite get the uh, goal kick. Oh. oh, disappointing day for Warsaw. Definitely feeling like on the beach. They should have killed us off long ago by now, said Tommy. It's very clear that they wanted the points more than us. Robin Solly Hole wanting to wish his wife the 40th anniversary. Nice. Well. Yeah. 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 Well. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well. Another free kick for Colchester. Oh, oh, oh dear. Yeah. It's been a bit of a dull second half, hasn't it? On this near side, their left, they're preparing to bring on Tom Napsley, the, uh, the one club man. The, uh, you might as well have bought uh, Joe uh, uh, Wilson. Well, you look like they have bought Joe Biden. Uh, what about desire today? And they had more. Yeah. I'm trying to get another. They just they didn't put the ball in the box. They just want to take it to the corner. Two foot in. Oh, come on, yes. Come on, Warsaw. Let's have some desire. Bring Pomliton, says Cole. Yeah. <laughs> oh. The ref's probably going to give about eight minutes now to give us some torture. I'm looking forward to OCR having a chance and completely hashing it. That's what I'm looking for. 
Westeck, How have underplayed so many passes today? Yeah, the, there's no strength in the pass, no desire in the pass. Yeah, the guys coming on, yeah. Yeah. I've got him in FIFA. Have you? Yeah, but it's really Mansfield. Mansfield. Yeah. Mansfield. yeah. Mansfield. yeah. yeah. Five minutes? Five minutes? We had eight against Forest Green. Wow. Oh, 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 Wolves kept the ball in. Best promotion fighting teams. We can't beat those. We can't beat the best. <laughs> I get what you're saying there, Warsaw till I die. Against the promotion chasing teams, we look like a promotion chasing team. Or against the uh, relegation teams, we look like a relegated team. Mm. And uh, that's quite often been the walls away, hasn't it? And that's that's something that we've got to change, isn't it? How yeah. yeah. CRL help us change that? I don't think. Oh, no, I think yeah. Oh, come on here. I'm surprising. Oxford is 2-2 uh, now, the uh, Kassam Stadium. Uh, no, it's across now, Oxford. Uh, from the West Midlands, not... Oh, CR, he's out, does he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he for this. He won a fail. Salford Tuesday. I meant to say we can't beat, yeah. Salford Tuesday, oh. I hope it's going to be better on Tuesday, because this is a bit tortuous, really. The start of this game, there were six or seven balls around the pitch. There are none available now. Brian Dutton is right to complain, but it's absolutely ridiculous. It is. All small around us. As soon as they took the lead, they probably took all the balls away. They have all disappeared in the second half. Okay, interesting, interesting tactic. Interesting tactic. I think we should get um, um, We just need an equaliser, that's what we want. Consolation. On your head, on your head, son. Oh, come on, that's a penalty. Surely that's a penalty. Oh, I'll feel that was poor decision now for Alfie then. Newblade will come forward for the hosts who play a local. That's correct. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's not, that's not can see why the culture is just struggle. That's clear. Charge in the back. Elbow in the back, that was. Hell has pelted the ball away for a goal kick. That's the second time he's done that in the last five minutes. Randomly, uh, the, the balls appeared on that far side. I wonder where they've uh, magically found that one from. Tommy, yeah, that was definitely a penalty. Carl, yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, though. He's not giving it, has he? We have got a minute and 15 seconds of stoppage time remaining. Colchester United 2, Warsaw 1, it remains. Well, no, Warsaw, we'll literally, it'll go on fifth, like, on fifth minute. Keep their unbeaten record going. Want to try and seven. No, added minutes or anything. But as it is, they are heading for just a fifth defeat away from home. Colchester are heading for only a second win in 26 <laughs> matches. It's going to be a huge result for them. Huge it's disappointment be, this today. Who picked up positive results today? Southend at Exeter, nil-nil. Grimsby, angry. Gosh, you've got big angry supporters. I mean, beaten Bolton, who are aiming for automatic promotion, two-one Grimsby today, only to find that the team that they are chasing are winning here, two-one. Chelsea have ended Pep Guardiola's quadruple hopes with a one-nil victory. I think I was hearing at uh, Wembley Stadium. Ziyech with the goal. 
to give Thomas Tuchel's men. Same way, it's now design. What's that? Final to play either Leicester or Southampton. They play their game. Yeah, one game. Southampton is the ball away. We have got ten seconds of stoppage time remaining. Pell for the third time in the last five minutes has clattered the ball away and given Jack Rose to chase. But I think that. Why were the only five thirty kick Why is it worse? Why is it worse? How are you doing? Why is the ref not <coughs> The refs just carried on because they were wasting time. How slow are they passing that ball? Disappointing game there, boys. They just wanted it more, and Dorton will, Dorton will not be happy about that. Well, this is the thing. Wolves have enough desire to get themselves safe. That should have been a penalty. Though. That should have been a penalty. I can't wish it. it. <laughs> should have been a penalty all day. That should have been a penalty. You're quite right. But I mean, the ref saw it and didn't give it, did he? Yeah. Um, yeah, for reason. Thoroughly disappointing performance. Daniel Brown saw and Dutton out. Dutton's done well to get us more solid at the back and help to uh, get us safe. But is he the guy to take us forward? After a performance like that, you ask that question, don't you? Is he the man? Because first half was poor and uh, second half wasn't worse, really, wasn't it? Second half was worse. Yeah. I'm right then, I'm gonna disappointedly end it there. I'm gonna get a get a match reaction up. Gonna get that up soon. Can't argue with the results, says Tommy. Should have had a penalty, but that would have been robbery. Yes, quite right. But I mean, it, again, it should have been a penalty, and they didn't give it. So. One of them. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Um, it's been interesting chat, even though the game wasn't much. Uh, we'll be back on Tuesday, hoping we can see a bit more life in the team. We hope. Right then, I'll catch you on Tuesday. Thanks for joining us. If you're new to the channel, press the subscribe. <sighs> Tuesday. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for watching.